Peter Haddigan, I'm here, the very noisy White Skip Hire, and I've found Neil, who's the owner of White Skip Hire. We're here in Dagenham, Neil. You are super busy. We're just coming out of lockdown at the moment. There's so much stuff going on here. You must be really happy with the business at the moment, and behind me, you've got all of these units that are really making it work hard, aren't they? Yeah, we're really busy at the moment, coming out of lockdown, and we're finding a lot of people are doing DIY, and also the site work's coming back on, so we are really busy, yes. So, Neil, unusually I normally go on sites and see brand new machines, but what I love about coming here is you're working your machines really hard, especially the two units we see behind me, which have been here since 2015. Now, that's amazing. These are two Sani excavators that aren't even waste spec. What's going on? Why are they here? Initially, we started off hiring and we've got such a good job out of them that we actually end up buying from the hire company the other unit off of them. So basically what you're doing now is you're with Sani uh, Direct, aren't you? Yeah, because we've got Sani's direct, yeah. actually working with you directly now and Neil is one of the guys that's helping you out there. How's that all work for you? Because these units are taking a pounding out there. Yeah, they're doing long hours, they're doing a lot of heavy work and they're getting worked hard every day, six days, uh, six days a week. Uh, we've got a good relationship with Neil at Sani. We find it very easy to get parts from them. Any additional help as well. We know that Neil's just a phone call away and he's always willing to help our fitters on site. Well, what's interesting is you just said that for me. And what's really interesting, guys, they have their own fitters here, don't you? Yeah. And they have been looking after these machines. Yeah. And there's like 6,000 hours or so on them and, and they're still working well, aren't they? Yeah. We do a lot of maintenance on site, a lot of all, all the repairs and obviously and we're relying heavily on the machine drivers to do their daily checks just to keep them constantly working really. Now I was talking to you earlier Neil and some of those daily checks, those machines, the reason why they've been doing so well, part of that is because they're made for hot weather and so they're made for dusty conditions so you guys, you guys blow out the, the, the filters and everything on these don't you on a daily basis but yeah. because they're made in that way it's actually helped you hasn't it? Yeah it's helped us and even some days you're blowing them out a couple of times but yeah we don't have any problems it's just getting to know the machine and knowing how the machine works and being on top of things and spotting problems before they occur. And the other thing you were saying because you're mixed here with skips and large demolition waste coming in because a lot of activity happening in London these machines are you're using in quite a versatile way, aren't you? Explain to me how they're being used. Yeah, do various activities on site, shredding, screening, and also sorting the skips, change the attachments on them, then, then we can use a material handler to sort through the waste before it goes through the picking station, the MRF. But yeah, basically we can do any application with them. They, they get us out of trouble on many occasions. And they've got the hydraulic power, you were saying, for other attachments that yeah. you can put on them rather yeah. than just the, uh, the excavation we see behind us. Yeah. So, Neil, where, what's the plan for the, the business and will you be getting some more of these sannies or yeah. will you be working these guys even harder as well, I Yeah, think? we're definitely looking to upgrade, uh, possibly trade these two in for, for newer ones. But, yeah, we, I, th I think going forward we'll definitely stick with Sani. Neil, it's been a pleasure talking to you here really busy site i must let you get on with your work and uh, off we go from there cheers, cheers thank you very much